Hello, hello, and welcome, you fine ass people, to another spur terrific episode of Tech Spurt Weekly, the only take takely weck news show. Well, that's a great fing start, right there, isn't it? I mean, I'll be straight up honest, everyone. I've I got nothing. I'm spent, all right. Usually I try and come up with some sort of big idea of something that could possibly resemble an introduction to these little weekly news show things. This week, nah. You know, behind the curtain of it all, I'm literally drinking pints of black coffee just to try and keep upright right now, to be honest. Oh God. Like this week's already been busy enough with, you know, your Samsung launches and all that other shenanigans. But next week, Jesus Christ, man, next week is going to be busier than a Northern Clap Clinic. We are talking literally launches every single day, sometimes multiple launches in a day, which is always lovely. So apologies um, if you think I'm sounding a bit unhinged this week, just wait till next week, hey? We've got lots to get through, so let's crack on with the show. Jingle me, mofos. Techspert Weekly. So starting with Samsung, who had the biggest phone launch of the week, whipping out its fresh new affordable Air Series smartphones, the Air 52, the Air 52 5G, and the Air 72, all designed to take on the likes of those Pixels and the OnePlus Nord. Now the most affordable of this Samsung trio, the Galaxy Air 52, the bog standard one, it sadly isn't coming to the UK. It is coming to Europe though for 349 euros, so you should be able to import it fairly easily if you want that one. Otherwise you can spunk up 399 quid for the Galaxy Air 52 5G, like I did. You can check out my unboxing, which went live yesterday. Uh, otherwise it's 419 quid for the A72. Quite a nice price overall, so unlike those Galaxy S21 phones, hopefully you won't have to kick out Grand's gold teeth just to afford one. Design-wise, they all look very similar, with skinny bezels and a selection of bright colours to choose from. You've got awesome violet, awesome black, awesome white, and awesome blue. Awesome! The A52 Duo are 6.5 inches, but if that isn't big enough for you, the A72 may prove more satisfying at 6.7 inches. And I know which one your mum would like. She likes it big, your mum. Uh, and they're also IP67 water and dust resistant, which is a pretty rare feature at this price point, so fair play, Sammy. All three Samsung sport a Super AMOLED display. You've got 90Hz refresh for the LTE models and a 120Hz upgrade for the A52 5G. You've also got stereo speakers on all three and... Uh, uh, Sorry, I just got massively distracted by those incredibly penile plants there. Like, seriously, I'm not the only one seeing this, right? That is some proper flora dong action right there. Now, you've got a 4,500 milliamp battery stuffed into those A52 phones, and that's upgraded to a 5,000 milliamp battery on the A72. And Samsung reckons that that means you'll get two days of battery life between charges. Uh, personally, I think you've probably got more chance of pulling in a nunnery, but hey ho, we'll see. Oh, and good news, you do actually get a charger in the box. You've got a quad camera set up on all three of these blows, including a 64 megapixel primary shooter with built-in OIS. You've also got a 12 megapixel ultra-wide angle shooter, a uh, hoo boy, a macro lens of course, because why not? And then a basic depth sensor on the A52 phones, but the A72 replaces that with a telephoto lens with three times optical zoom, nice. You've also got popular Sammy features like the Pro Video Mode trickling down to these ear holes, where you'll also get a bit of 4K video snap to grab 8 megapixel stills from your footage. As for the software, well, standard stuff. It's Samsung's One UI slapped over the top of a bit of Android 11, but Samsung is also offering a minimum of four years of security updates with all of these phones, which is proper solid. And what's that? You want more sexy specs right in your face hole, right? Okay, well, all three A series phones pack up to 256 gigs of storage plus one terabyte micro SD support. And while the bog standard A52 offers four, six, or eight gigs of RAM, the others come with a minimum of six. So, all in all, very impressive tech for the price. As I say, I've already unboxed the A52 5G, which I spunked up for yesterday. So, go check that out for an in depth look at all of those specs and features. And I'm hoping to give it a full review soon and hopefully get that A72 featured as well. Now the Realme 8 Pro launch is coming next week like every freaking other launch ever but I have had a chance to share a sneak peek of this fresh new budget form with you lovely lot this week. I did have to keep shtum on most of the specs but I did get to show off the rather bold design and I've also tested out that 108 megapixel rear camera. Of course the killer question here is, is the Realme 8 Pro a true arrival? Can it stand up tall against Xiaomi's Redmi Note 10 Pro, which is easily my favourite budget smartphone that's launched in 2021 so far? Well, my full in-depth Realme 8 Pro review will be going live on Wednesday when that embargo finally buggers off. So grab onto your nuts or your other preferred snack of choice and join me for some more Realme fun times. Oh, much needed sustenance. Right. 
Um, so you may remember early in the week I put live a big Sony Xperia 5 Mark II competition went live on Wednesday. Uh, that competition has now come to an end and I'm going to randomly select a winner from all of those Twitter replies. Thank you very much to everyone who entered. And the winner is... Harleen Quinn at Harleen Quinlan. Uh, congratulations, Harleen. You've just won yourself an Xperia 5 Mark II smartphone. Uh, clamp to attach it to your DualShock controller, assuming you've got a DualShock controller, and a shag load of Call of Duty Mobile points. So hopefully you play a bit of Call of Duty Mobile. I'm just going to take a snapshot of that, and uh, I will hit you up on the Twitters, and we'll arrange for Sony to ship out your price to you. Great stuff. Okay, so moving along, now it's time for the part of the show, regrettably, that's about as pointless as a friggin' macro lens. It's time for viewer comments. Viewer comments. Now, first up is Carrot Cruncher, who says, Why am I getting Pampers ads on this video? I guess it's all the talk about spacemen shitting themselves. Oh, uh, yeah, sounds about right. I mean, targeted ads, gotta love them, right? And I'll tell you what, you can really tell that you're getting old based on the kind of adverts you see popping up on the channels that you choose to watch. Uh, so I quite enjoy uh, kicking back, relaxing with the occasional bit of uh, 80s music channel action, maybe on a Friday or a Saturday night after I've had a, a few brewskis. I can't believe I call them a few brewskis. What am I, a friggin' 18 year old frat boy? But, you know, the passage of time is definitely well mapped out by those things because you've got all these super cool, uh, you know, young, hip 80s bands and stuff. And then as soon as the ad break hits, it's all Viagra pills and ultra absorbent underwear. So basically the consensus is if you're old enough to still enjoy 80s music, chances are you can't get it up anymore and you probably piss your pants every time you so much as pick up a heavy bag of shopping. Own hair loss ads. Don't think I haven't noticed the abundance of hair loss ads and also been very, very tempted. Uh, back to the comments. Uh, and of course, after requesting last week that people who live in lovely, gorgeous, hot, sunny countries right on the coast possibly don't f***ing gloat about that in the comments, uh, what, predictably, do you lovely bunch go and do? Yes, cheers very much, you merry band of bastards. Especially considering how many freakish rainstorms I've been caught in this last week or so. F*** the UK, man. Ugh, all out of coffee, that is not a good situation. Uh, so, for instance, George Lennox, a Brit in San Diego, apparently. Oh, God damn. I used to actually live in San Diego for a hot moment as well. Literally a hot moment. Just, it's got everything you want, man. It's got the gorgeous weather, uh, lovely beaches, and that Mexican food. Oh, and you just a hop, skip, and a jump from uh, Disneyland and Universal and stuff, which I absolutely adore as a massive theme park nerd. And they go on and on. Adam is apparently watching from Nairobi. Good bit of Kenya action. Very nice. Uh, Ashley over in South Africa. Africa, Paolo in Portugal. Ugh, what can I say except I hate you all, but I also love you for watching this shower of shit. Uh, so yeah, my brain is aching from conflicting emotions. Uh, next up, John Kerr says, when you visit Canada, oh, thank God, somebody who lives in a cold, shitty country, I will fill you full of good Canadian liquor. Uh, yeah, um, uh, last time I was there, I had moose, I think it was called. It was something generic like moose or uh, mounty. It was basically like boozy maple syrup. I very much uh, got on board with that, definitely. And also, I would 100% rank poutine as one of the best post-pub snacks out there. Absolutely love that stuff. Just all of the meat and cheese on my chips, please. It's definitely right up there with Parma ham and, of course, the good old trusty kebab. Uh, ben Jones says, none of that warm weather compares to the lovely cold Norfolk coast. Oh, indeed, I've holidayed there many a time. Many fond memories of a good bit of chroma action, catching crabs of the seafood variety. Uh, next up, uh, ch Chizzy? Jizzy? Uh, sorry, I'm probably com <laughs> completely pronouncing that wrong. Uh, says, I'm from the Netherlands. What do you think about that country? Uh, yeah, definitely a big fan. You know, can't beat a good bit of... Uh, Bit of windmill action. Yeah, you know, I don't smoke myself, but I definitely approve of the chilled out vibe and everything there. And also the way that you motherfuckers absolutely drench, I mean drown, your chips in mayonnaise, uh, which I'm also a fan of. I've also got a Finnish fan in the house as well. Fake Ninja, hello Fake Ninja, says, uh, Love your energy, videos not so serious, but still serious stuff in them. Huge love from Finland. You know, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I know absolutely zero about Finland, other than the fact that Michael Palin sang a song about it once in an episode of Monty Python. Uh, and that's not a knock on the country, that's just my complete ignorance, basically. You know what, f*** it, let's do a new segment, fresh and new, for this week on Techspert Weekly, Five Fun Finland Facts. Five Fun Finland Facts. Now, there's actually quite a few uh, websites here with uh, fun Finland facts. So, uh, yeah, God bless the internet. It's good for more than just horrific graphic porn. Uh, every October the 13th is the annual celebrated day of failure where people honour their f***-ups and misfortunes. 
Christ, I need more than a day, mate. I need about a fucking fortnight. All right, here's a related Fin Funland fact. Fin Fun Fun Finland. Fuck off. <laughs> here's fact number two. Uh, apparently, Finland created and hosts the International Mobile Phone Throwing World Championships. Uh, any phone over 220 grams is legal, so that's pretty much any out there these days. Oh god, and guess what as well? The prize for the winner of the mobile phone throwing competition is a new mobile phone. Of course it is. Oh, you know what? Just don't bother entering. Just go and stand in the field where everyone's hoying their mobile phones and then pick one up. Job done. I'm kind of tempted though. I'd love to enter that. I would hoy the living shit out of an iPhone. Okay, fun finish fact three. One of the country's most popular pizza toppings includes smoked reindeer. Jesus Christ. I mean, just don't tell wee Timmy that he's munching on a slice of Rudolph's arse because that might slightly f*** up his Christmas. Fun Fin Fact 4! Apparently the Finnish love their coffee. The average Finn consumes 12 kilos of ground coffee every single year. And finally, Fun Finnish Fact number 5. Uh, the undisputed home of heavy metal is Finland. It's got the most metal bands per capita of any country on earth. I mean, I should have bloody known this because I do like a bit of metal, so I'm kind of ashamed to be honest. You've got Children of Boredom, Amorphous, all that good stuff. You know what? I am 100% sold. I swear to Christ, I'm moving to Finland after reading these fun Finnish facts. I want to eat reindeer pizza and snort coffee and mosh out while watching crazy morphos just chucking their mobile phones about. Sounds great. Anyway, I don't know if it's all of the excitement of the fun Finnish facts or the fact that I've drunk about two litres of coffee in the past 20 minutes, but I really need the toilet. So a quick break. Oh, so, so much better. All right, where were we? Uh, back to the comments. Uh, Martin1994 says, I'm half pissed watching this and it's fantastic. I'm never watching this again when I'm sober. It's so much better. Uh, Christ, do people actually watch this when they're sober? I really hope not. Uh, next up, Rain Loyal Flames says, I'd rather watch this than study for my final exams. Um, I mean, luck me, I don't want to be held responsible here if anyone flunking out of school. So get cracking those books young whippersnapper, otherwise you might end up a wastrel YouTube twat like myself. Uh, Tommy says, ants looking rough without deck, smiley face. Uh, cheers, man. Yeah, it's the adoring fans that I do this for, of course. Uh, next up, Reno Bange, banger, not sure how to pronounce it, sorry, uh, probably completely mauled it, uh, says, hey, Chris, how's it going, mates? Have you got any news on when Sony will be releasing any more mid-range phones? Well, hopefully really soon. I'm expecting Sony to uh, officially announce uh, a big launch event, probably in April, maybe early May, uh, but certainly should be soon. Usually they would have done a launch by now. There's been no official news, but yeah, you can expect the Xperia 1 Mark III and a whole bunch of new uh, phones, including the Xperia your tens and probably a new L series to come knocking uh, on on your door, whatever that means. What? Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my brain uh, today. I'm just, it's basically giving up on life, is what's happening. Uh, Steve LBMK says, "You're working so hard, you're making me feel tired. I thank you for the sacrifice that you and your liver are making on our behalf." I mean, that's basically what I'm here for, pounding back the booze and reviewing every single frickin' Motorola smartphone that comes flying at us, uh, because I love you all so much. Uh, next up, FH Manor says, what do you do besides reviewing tech? Uh, but I'm not, not a whole bloody heap right now, to be perfectly honest, now that we are taint deep in smartphone launch season. Uh, but of course, long-term viewers will know I'm a bit of an anime geek. I'm busy smashing through a bit of manga as well. I'm actually uh, most of the way through Akira. This bad boy is what I'm on right now, Akira Part 5 of 6. Uh, it's a big weighty torn, but you do fly through them pretty fast because, to be fair, they are mostly just pictures. And besides that, I'm also a big fan of internet porn. Uh, Axel Mulder says, the more sexy, sophisticated, smirking tech YouTuber out there. I'm definitely one of those things, that's for sure. Uh, he says, keep up the great videos. Anytime soon that we can expect to see an Oppo Find X3 Lite video, well, uh, it's funny you mention that because look what just turned up literally before I started shooting this video. One of many smartphones that have arrived on my doorstep this week. And it's considerably cheaper, of course, than the Oppo Find X3 Pro, but still bought some pretty decent specs and features. So I'm hoping to get this unboxed uh, probably after I shoot this bloody video, to be perfectly honest. Who needs sleep, right? Um, so yeah, so expect uh, content on that hopefully in the next sort of day or so. Uh, next up, David Ashmore says, will you be replacing Piers Morgan on the sofa next week? I mean, dude, doesn't that start at like 6am or something? I mean, that's just not happening. They'd have to literally let me sleep under the desk in the studio in like a sleeping bag. Otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be there. You know, I probably do talk just as much bollocks as Piers uh, does. So yeah, I'm expecting the call any day now, basically. Uh, and anyway, I've gone massively over time as usual. So make this the last one for this week. Uh, Booster says, can't forgive Sunderland and Dennis Smith for 1990 from a beleaguered Swindon fan. I mean, it's not really Sunderland's fault, was it? Unless we 
actually cooked your bucks for you on the sly in order to win ourselves a guaranteed promotion, which would be a hell of a blinder, actually. Not that it really helped that much, because I think the following season we basically just shut ourselves and went straight back down again. Typical. And I'm not even kidding, a motorbike courier has just <laughs> turned up outside with another smartphone for me, most uh, likely, so I better wrap this up. So big thanks to everyone who commented last week, much, much appreciated. Please do slap your comments down below and I'll try and smash through as many of those as possible at the end of a frankly horrific week next week. In fact, looking at my schedule makes me want to cry. Uh, so Monday, we've got some Poco shenanigans going on. Expect a full unboxing and hands-on there. Uh, Tuesday, OnePlus 9 series launch. Uh, so there'll be shag loads of content coming right at your face. Wednesday, Realme 8 Pro launch, of course. So a full review coming that day. Thursday, we've got a Motorola launch. Yay! Uh, so we're expecting the new G100 to be announced then. And then Friday, if I haven't drunk myself into a f***ing grave already, there will be another episode of Techspert Weekly, episode 55, I believe. We're cracking through now. So thank you very much for watching this show. If you haven't done so already, please do poke subscribe and ding the notification bell. Some of the videos I do aren't quite as bad as this one, I promise. And more importantly, have yourselves a fan freaking tastic weekend and hopefully see you next week. Cheers, everyone. Love you. Bye.